Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day metals, precious metals report is for trading on Friday, July the 29th, 2016. You're looking at the winner this week, which is Richmond Mining. Uh, looking at this um, this miner, you can see that it finished out at the highs of eleven dollars and seventeen cents. It is on fire. It is well supported on the weekly chart at eight dollars and twenty two cents. As far as if you're looking for a trailing stop on a longer term basis, market is in an overbought position and will need at least another week or two to determine if it's going to lock this in or not. Um, you know, it's it's been nice and strong up in here, okay? So the question is going to be, can it really get something going? I'm going to be honest with you. Even though this, this elongated uptrend is the way that it is, it's still not as strong as it could be. It could get a whole lot stronger here. Um these things tend to to move in cycles as you guys who are diehard miners know and it can do it can do a lot all right all things being equal at this rate this could be a 30 to 50 dollars uh, stock in, in in no time all right look what it's already done how it's come from down here Virtually uh, trading at uh, three dollars and fifteen cents, basically up to eleven dollars and seventeen cents. Okay, so just since since Christmas, it's gone from a three dollar to eleven dollar stock. So that's that's pretty good. That, that, that's that's a nice run here. But just keep in mind too, the higher these things push, the more interest it's going to get. And as long as gold and silver remain strong I see this continuing to do the same alright moving along uh, switching to the daily chart nine dollars and thirty seven cents uh, would be a, not a bad place to lock in some um, um, nine dollars and thirty I'm sorry nine dollars and thirty seven cents is the strong support but I would use I would put my stop at ten dollars and thirty seven cents to lock in profit here, and if it does pull back and get back down here, you get an opportunity to buy it once it you know tests or bounces off this this trend line somewhere down in here. So if you're long, go ahead and hold it. You can go ahead and put a stop in, like I said, at ten dollars and thirty seven cents. That would make sense that way you're not giving up any significant gains and any pullback. You'd be able to get back in and uh, catch the, the next leg up. Just my thoughts on how to uh, manage the trade in this particular market. So once again, uh, Richmond Mining is awesome right now. It's rocking and everything here, the, the, this is great separation here in the trend lines. Momentum is, is strong. Very, very nice chart here. All right, taking a look at the physical, looking at gold here. Um, notice how um, the gold chart is not as strong as the miner. The miner is actually stronger than the actual gold chart itself. Very interesting. Um, but nevertheless, it is bullish. It is strong. It's well supported at 1255.30. Nice upward thrust of momentum. Good volume. And we got nice separation here in the trend lines pointing higher. This is a good chart. Uh, it still needs to break out though um, and in order to test this 1400 which I believe is the target still we still have some uh, some resistance up here to deal with um, we need to get past this 1380 we need to close above 1380 and then we'll be good to go so looking forward in the week this market is very bullish all right looking at the equity side of things looking at the GLD this one's well supported at uh, 12060 and it also has upward momentum it's moving along with the gold futures rather nicely and this one needs to get above this we need to close above this 131 so we can set the stage here to to get up toward the 140 150 range which is my target there um, for the GLD 
All right, looking at the gold miners now, this one's well supported at $26.11, same situation, moving very nicely, nice bullish chart. And right now, this one is wanting to head toward 35. So right now, it's well on, on its way to do that. It doesn't have any additional barriers to really overcome. It's right there. Uh, it has everything going for it to make that happen. All right, looking now at the uh, silver futures, uh, closing at $20.40, well supported at $17.14. This one's moving nicely along as well. Uh, look at this nice elongated channel here. It's pulse waving nicely. Um, and it has everything set up too. It really doesn't have any major hurdles here because this doesn't count because it's a spike high. Um, and then we close within the body here, uh, just middle of the range. But this is a nice strong close here, and this has everything it needs now to march toward 22 uh, in the near term. And nice momentum here, not even overbought yet. Great has everything going for it. So 22 is still the target, and the silver futures moving forward. All right, taking a look now at the equity counterpart, looking at SLV. This market's well supported at 1633. Same scenario here, nice strong close, has everything going for it right now to break past 20 uh, and head into about 21, 22 as well. This market is really doing doing nice. It's really catching up uh, to the futures right now, which is which is great as far as price is concerned. So that's my target, uh, you know, the 20 to 22 dollar range and the SLV is also my target it has everything going for it right now and like I said it's well supported even we're way down here at 1633 all right looking at silver miners silver miners right now looks great well supported at forty dollars and seventy cents and it has a great close here too nice momentum starting to hit that over that overbought uh, but it has everything going for it right now to head in the 55 zone we, we close above 50 it's ready to go to 55 now and that will be my target uh, for this one on this on the near term okay finishing up now here with Bitcoin as you can see uh, you know at that 650 range here you got your support still down here at the 550 level not a lot going on here this market is still you know sideways no momentum whatsoever volume is almost invisible so again nothing to do here either all you're doing is you're setting and you're waiting for your next buy signal which who knows when that will come but as you can see the market is well supported down here even at 550 so um, just gonna be an interesting one to watch in the weeks ahead as well so with that said remember Bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can and give nothing back. Have a blessed weekend, everyone.